and welcome back to the Try Time Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Callum. And today we're going to go over who is the best finisher in Super League. But before we jump straight in, make sure you're following us on all our social media, particularly our Twitter. We've made a real effort to be active on there and discuss all things Rugby League, so come join the discussion, polls, see our very stupid opinions that we all love to have. And yeah, just general, let's make it a fun place to talk Rugby League. Um, and also, of course, subscribe to the channel. Turn the red button grey. Yeah, you've had a few seconds to do that. If not, do it now. And if you still haven't, just do it before the end of the video ends. Right, I've had enough of plugging that. So, okay, first name. Who are we thinking? Best finisher in the league. Well, I think let's start off with where it not all started because someone's done a good finish like this before, obviously. But where I feel like it's in the modern game, it's really been publicised in a way. And I think we've got to go with Tom Johnstone. I think Mr. Top. Acrobat of the Super League. Yeah, and I think it's actually, and probably by myself as well. I think with Johnston, with some of the other candidates we're going to speak about later on, I think due to his injuries and him not playing every single week for Wakefield over the last couple of seasons due to these injuries, he kind of gets sort of overlooked sometimes just because he doesn't play as many games. But I would never say he's overlooked. I, I think he, I think when we get to these other names, people will think it's him because they see this certain player that we're probably both thinking of in his heads right now doing it every single week. Whereas obviously Johnston probably does it just as well. But I think that you can't say the injury has hindered Johnstone's just career in general in terms of him, you know, probably making. Well, I don't England's... know. He's still at Wakey. Yeah. yeah, but you know, it, the, he could be an, he would be the England international winger if England had a squad tomorrow and he were fit. That that's a fact. But the injuries. Okay, I'm going to throw two things on that. Number one, he don't probably only get in because Hanley's injured. Just saying. Well, and that's your Leeds bias. No, it isn't. It's it really, the fact that it really isn't. It's the fact that Hanley has top scored for the last two years, pretty much. Yeah, that. Yeah, I, I get where you're coming from, but I mean, I do, if we're going to go down that road, Handley should get in the squad over Makinson if that's all we're judging it on. But yeah, well, that's a different video once we get close to England. Yeah, there's selection. a hot take for you. But <laughs> finishing is about more than just the athletic stuff in the corner. It's the things that don't, don't always catch the eye. Because don't get me wrong, that's the perfect photo op to slap on your front page if you win a match. But realistically. You've got to be able to do it all, and that includes running 85 metres after Luke Gale drops the ball straight in your hand, and that's one thing that Tom Johnson is very good at, as we have seen. Yeah, I think Tom Johnston's definitely the the pioneer of the new the new way of finishing Super League. Obviously, in the past. In terms of the finishing in the Back corner... Back when if you touched the corner stick, it was a no-try, yeah, yeah. So if you were actually... Any part of your body was touching a whitewash. Yeah, that was a stupid rule. I'm glad they got rid of that. Yeah, that's definitely engineered a new sort of type of finish. And I think Johnston's up there with the best. It's hard to quantify something like these sort of acrobatic finishes. Because you see him do Should it... Should we throw some other names and see what yeah. we think in terms of acrobatic, not acrobatic? Well, we've discussed whether or not Hanley's better than him, but let's start with Tommy Makinson. Yeah, 100% the other player I was thinking of earlier when we were saying about a player who does it week in, week out and probably gets the people, if you were to ask people this question, Johnston versus Makinson on, on finishing, they'd say Makinson genuinely because there's more of a sample size there. And I think that is general just a fact and it doesn't mean that he is I'm a better I'm going to disagree with you on that. No, but what I think you, I think naturally they choose Johnston because the entire highlight reel is literally it's what I was saying, the photogenic dive into the corner. Whereas Makinson, I don't mean this in a bad way, scores a lot more walk-ins just because of how much better Saint Helens create chances and overlaps. Yeah, and but then that begs the question of the teams people play on because I get what you mean. How Johnston plays week in, play, doesn't play week. If he's fit, plays week in week out. Is what I'm trying to say for Wakefield side where he has to make more of his tries than Makinson does. But I think the quality of finishing Makinson is still just as good as Johnston's. Like, how do you quantify an acrobatic finish in the? Oh, corner? I'd agree. Yeah, yeah. The quality in terms of can Makinson do it in as tight of a space? Yes, I don't think there's much in between them. But the fact that we don't see that as often with him 
because of the quality of tries being created makes Johnson stand out more. Yeah, oh, I honestly, in a way, yeah, I completely agree how, and this is what I think the argument is, is like, make. this is what I'm saying about how Makinson's more out there because he, like, he hasn't had the necessary injury worries that Johnson's had, and I feel like that has hindered people's view of Johnston, how he's like, yeah, he's really good, but can he stay fit? Whereas Makinson, you're like, yeah, he's just won two back-to-back grand finals, and he's probably the best winger in the league. That's what everyone looks at it as. I'm not saying that's necessarily right or what I would think, but that's what the perception is, which kind of drives the view, the general view of the rugby league community, realistically. But then I think then that begs the question of, right? So Makinson does it week in week out, but like you say, doesn't get the opportunity, doesn't have to do the harder ones as much because of how many walking discards, just because he's got, you know. Kevin Naguama in his centre, which is like one of the best centres in the league as well, and how good Saints are. Then, does well, it should bring... we throw some more names? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Perhaps aren't the top ones. Off. So, I mean, probably not going to talk about these as much just because some of the lesser names to mind. But first thing, if we're going to, are we saying of the current era or recent years or this year or how are we defining this? Well, I think not necessarily this year because there's literally we like how, when we're recording this we're like a couple of games into round still two still active super players yeah but active super league and okay yeah 38 right tries now. a season re- record in recent years what about Greg Eden I mean I think feel free to laugh I, I wouldn't because I think at the end of the day there's not really many super, many wingers in Super League right now that couldn't pull off an acrobatic finish and I think Eden's a case of that season when he scored so many tries and when Cass were unreal in regular season I think if you're talking walk-ins with Makinson I don't think a player scored more King walk-ins. walk-ins yeah and that's no discredit to him because he put that season I, do, I think the bigger role he had in that cast side were getting him out in yardage Take, run it ball in I, he were there to score the tries just well, because of how good they were a testament to the brilliant play of Gale Hardacre and Roberts Shenton yeah. everyone else yeah. that played a part in that squad and what a team it was to be fair when they were clicking you know it was Eden had hat tricks sort of left right and centre he was what, I a mean lot he of them massively more... outperformed Monaghan which I don't think many people expected who if we were talking if we're having this conversation what Eight ten years ago, Joe Monaghan is probably one of the first names that gets mentioned. But yeah, pro- Joe Monaghan arguably the best, I think, pure out and out try scorer of the of the Super League era. I would put him up there. But obviously, that's a different video altogether, and that's a whole different conversation. But yeah, we it- won't start bringing Halver, Ryan Acolo, and other. Well, we could actually mention Ryan Hall to be fair. But but I think he's a different type of finisher. I don't think you've seen an acrobatic. I don't think ball. if we're defining best finisher, I don't necessarily think that is defined as just acrobatic. Yeah, oh yeah, not necessarily, but I think in this new age now, I think if you're looking if someone says to you on the street who's the best finisher in Super League, does your brain go that much past Tommy Mason? No, but if you're Tom asked Johnson? who is the best winger in Super League Then that's a different question, yeah. Pret- that's a whole different yeah, video. I mean yeah. I'd like to see Johnston Makinson literally go over the top of Kieran Dixon, not what not Kieran Dixon, what was his bloody name now? The Castleford Dixon fella at Wembley. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, I can't remember what they called him now. Yeah, we know, Trish. I know what you mean. Was it Kirk? It yeah, might be Kirk, Kirk Dixon. Yeah, you're right. Close enough. Yeah, but then I think then if we're talking best winger and like best finisher, so we've said Eden. I think one that's on the other wing to Makinson, and I've just seen him tonight score a great finish, which wasn't an acrobatic. He's just he's, in terms of how he shifts direction and shifts his weight and speed and seamlessly moves like that. And he's, he scores an acrobatic finish every now and get, as, then again. You got to go Regan Grace. Everyone know you know what I'm talking about. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. And he's got to well, be. Well, might not have done if I didn't watch the game and you're just twittering on about. But given right. I don't actually know when we're recording. If, this if you are watching now. this video and you are unsure of who the other winger at Saints is to Tommy Makinson, then you know, come on, come off it. We're expecting the viewers to know some know the stuff here, which I'm sure they're doing. Okay, I'm but sure they they might, if they might have missed that bit and just heard it was scored a good try tonight, what? Who scored tonight? It's Saturday. Yeah, I know what you mean. Saints yeah. didn't play tonight. We are recording you know, this watching on this Thursday. in two weeks. Don't confuse the people. Yeah, but yeah, Grace is a good shout. Um, on the Johnson front, forever perennially injured, Manfredi. He can finish. Yeah. 
yeah, I, de I definitely do think with Manfredi, it's it's probably in a way like he does these finishes and stuff, but he's probably maybe not as injured as Johnston. But I think I do think Johnston's that just that top top level really, and that's why when he does play and isn't injured, he gets so many headlines. I think Manfredi doesn't get them as much generally just because of again I think probably Wigan score more walkings and it does probably hinder him Do okay you know? another name that maybe doesn't get as many walkings that I haven't even thought of until now Fuad Yaha interesting Although when I do think of Fuad Yaha, I do think of a, a good walking try. I think Fuad Yaha could be... I, I do think that's genuinely because Sam Tompkins probably sets up every single one of Fuad Yaha's tries. Fuad Yaha yeah. is a great finisher, however. I do get what you're saying. and he's, he's, he's a great finisher. I don't know if he quite has enough to really hang at the top of this conversation, but no, worth but I, throwing out there, definitely. I genuinely think he doesn't get the plaudits because he obviously plays for Catalan and he isn't a big, big name, is he? You know, like Maloney and no. Tompkins, they get the plaudits. I think he outshines Lewis Turner. Yeah, oh, well, no, yeah, definitely. I think he's a big, powerful lad as well. He can kind of do it all. I think you put him on, if he were playing on wing for Wigan, then I think he'd be one, renowned as one of the best wingers in the league. I do think, because Catalan obviously don't have the big sort of fan base or no, known sort of fan base within the community, if you know what I mean. Like, they're not on the forums and Facebook and stuff speaking about it. You kind of don't hear much about him, as you would maybe Maloney and Tompkins because they're renowned names. So, yeah, I think Yaha is a huge shout. I also think one that not, I do not think many people listening would have put out there, and this is probably my personal from seeing, at, seeing him at Bradford and some oh, of the we go. best finishes. And You've no, managed to get Bradford in a Super League video again. Go on. Well, he currently plays for Hull KR, although he's probably a third choice winner. Well, that's so half your squad so far, so yeah. keep going. Uh, Ethan Ryan is being kept out of the... He's not quite in the, in the starting uh, 13 for... K out at the minute, but last season he got some minutes. He scored a great acrobatic try in the corner, which I think is in the actual promotional video for Super League this year, which is quite big. And I know when he played at Bradford, he was top quality. Some of the finishes he did, there's some un absolute unreal. I remember one at home against Batley, and it's probably one. At, and I remember it well, getting knocked around all, you know, Fox Fox NRL in over in Australia about it, and it were it were really good finish. So I think in terms of small sample size in Super League. But arguably, if we had all these people do a acrobatic finish in the corner competition, I think he'd be up there in top three up there, probably with Johnston and Makinson. I've got two exactly. more names I want to quickly throw out before we probably see who we'd both go for. Yeah, go on. First one, not in Super League this year, but definitely made an impact last time. Uh, Ratu, LFC. Yeah, that's definitely uh, in terms of if you get if you. He's one of them players that if he has the ball in in you in your own twenty, there's an eye chance that if he, he has can, the ball anywhere, yeah. you are on him because yeah. otherwise you are conceding. He can it score does not full length. If he's right on his own goal line, he will go the length of the field if you give him the space to. Yeah, he, he's a quality. He was a quality winger, and it's a sad loss really for Super League, I think, because it given some regular minutes in a maybe a lesser team than the FC, you know, a team that could do with a good winger. I think he he honestly could shine. Uh, go on, who's your other? Now, this is a bit of a left field one. Uh, Tom Briscoe. Right, that's interesting. Defensively, yeah. very questionable, but that's not the case of this video. We're not asking them to take a high ball, thank God. <laughs> um, look at some of the tries he comes out with. There's next to no space. A bit of the Regan Grace complex in terms of being able to shift his weight around very well to stay in the field of play. Yeah. And... Yeah, I sometimes look at a lot of his tries and think, how the hell has he got that down there with his foot literally millimetres from touch and somehow he's managed to sneak a ball between his legs and have control of it? What? You know, he scored five at Wembley, man of the match performance against Cass in the grand final, what, four years ago now, as of this season? It's still yeah. all fairly recent, and he's definitely still got it going forward. Yeah. Again, does he hang with the big names in this conversation? Perhaps not. But is he up there enough to deserve a mention if we're going to mention the likes of Manfredi and Yaha? Okay, so if neither of us have got any more names, then 
just before I reveal who each of us would go for, like I said before, don't forget to subscribe, like our Facebook page, Twitter, link to those in the description. I don't know if there's anything else that we need to promote, but obviously if you've not seen the main pod, go check that out. Super League Stadium tier list, where do we rank your club? If you're Castleford, definitely watch that because it gets quite heated. Um, yeah, so without further ado, who are you going for? Best finisher in Super League, Callum. Two words, Tommy Makinson. Interesting. Well, I'm actually going to be completely different, and you've got the footage to back me up here. A name that we've not even mentioned, who again, big loss this year. The best finisher in Super League, especially at the acrobatic stuff, Ryan Atkins. It's a massive, massive trip for Leeds. They win the World Club Challenge in their own backyard. Here goes Ben Murdoch Masilla. Here is Ryan Atkins. Oh, Atkins. Oh. He went for the spectacular.